Hi, I'm Jason Zweigel and thank you for visiting ShortSaleSlayers.com and uh, we're here to talk a little bit about short sales and more specifically about the hardship and the question that everybody asks me mostly is do I qualify for a short sale? How do I qualify for a short sale? Well here's the short simple answer um, that nobody really wants to tell you. If you're underwater in other words, your house, um, you owe more than what your house is worth, then you qualify for a short sale. Now, the banks will talk about, you know, they want to know your hardship and write a hardship letter and all those things. Yes, a hardship is, is you know, needs to be there in the bank's eyes, but the reality of it is the banks will do a short sale because of one reason. It benefits the bank. Um, a short sale versus foreclosure, the bank wins every time. They get more money nationwide for a short sale versus a foreclosure. So, um, hardships can include um, a divorce, a job loss, um, how about a salary cutback, uh, you're moving, relocating, um, you know, uh, medical issues, all those things are hardships, but the bottom line is what the bank is looking at is do we net more money from the sale of a short sale versus a foreclosure? So all this stuff about the banks, we're here to help and they'll set up, Chase has got these little satellite offices and they wanna help you and this, that and the other. The, the, the reality of it is, the only way that they want to help you is if it makes sense to their bottom line. It's all about the dollars for the banks. And it's probably not a big mystery, it's probably not a big surprise, but so here's what I want to I want to reinforce today is that if you're underwater and you owe more than what your home is worth, you're going to qualify for a short sale. And I say that with in all confidence. I've done over 100 short sale negotiations on liens. I've never had one not one client, not one borrower rejected because of the hardship. And we went from three years ago writing two page long handwritten hardships to you know now in the new short sale programs, especially the half of the hardship is a checkbox. It's you know well, we have a loss of income or reduced income or removing or something. I mean it's basically it's really not as significant of an issue as it once was and if any if you're reading um, you know USA Today or watching CNN or MSNBC um, or Channel 3 all great news um, media outlets whatever but the reality of it is there's a bunch of misinformation out there there's a bunch of myths about short sales and in the trenches let me tell you how it goes down the pit the bank uh, does better um, financially on approving your short sale, then the bank's gonna approve your short sale. And that's all they really care about. Um, if you have any other questions, just click on the Start Now button below um, or click on the Instant Chat. Um, you can get me directly and we can have a discussion about your particular situation or just pick up the phone and give me a call. Um, again, I wanna thank you for visiting ShortSaleSlayers.com. My name is Jason Zweigel and you have a great day.